Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video, I'm taking a look at a new software called Ad Hero. So, what exactly is Ad Hero? Well, as you have probably guessed by the name of the software, Ad Hero is a software that is designed to allow you to create ads. Now, I want to be clear about one thing from the beginning Ad Hero does not create graphics. So, Ad Hero is not well suited to create things like Facebook ads or ads that you're going to upload to another website. Ad Hero creates dynamic ads that you put on your own website or that you put on your own blog. And by dynamic, I mean that it has additional functionality. You can create ads with things such as videos in it or animations in it. These ads are designed to convert better by drawing people's attention more than just a static graphic ad. So let me go ahead and show you the software. Okay, so the first thing that I did when I logged into the software is I looked for the tutorials. And you can see there's a support link right here if you need support. And there are also a tutorial link right here. So I clicked on the tutorial link and I noticed that this has a bunch of tutorials. And these are video tutorials that show you exactly how to use the software. The tutorials are also in Spanish as well if you're not an English speaker. I'll be honest though, I did what most people are going to do and I completely ignored the tutorials and jumped right into the software. Fortunately, it was incredibly easy to use and I found that I really didn't need the tutorials anyway. So let me go ahead and create a new ad and I can show you exactly how it works. So to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is click on the campaigns button. I'm then going to create a new campaign. The very first step is going to ask me for a couple of things. The first thing it wants to know is the name of my campaign. And of course, this is just for my reference only. This is just so that I can remember what I created this ad for. So I've already created a couple of test ads. So I'm going to call this third test. It's then going to ask me for a landing page URL. And this is the landing page where I want people to go to after they click on my ad. Now, normally I would put in affiliate link here or a CPA offer link or something that's going to get me income after people click on it. But for this test, since it's just a demo, I'm only going to enter my blog URL. Once I have my campaign name and my landing page URL set, I can go ahead and click on the next button. It's on the right hand side of the screen and continue to step two. Now before I show you step two, I do want to point out something that I noticed that I didn't particularly like. You can see how there are three steps in creating your ad. Right now we're on step two. But let's say if I decided I want to go back to step one and change something, I can. I go ahead and I'm just, it's not clickable. So as you progress through the steps, you cannot go back and edit the steps. What you have to do is save your campaign and then you can edit it later. I really wish though that it would allow you to go back and forth between the steps if you need to that I think that would have been a little more convenient but it's just not the way that this particular software is set up okay so step two is about selecting your template and I have a lot of templates here I'm not really sure exactly which version I have I don't know if I have the upgraded version I don't know if all of these templates are gonna come in the front-end offer but I have quite a few templates to select from and in order to select a template the first thing you need to do is decide what size of an ad that you want to create and over here on the left side you can see there are all the standard ad sizes so there's the leaderboard which is standard 728 by 90 there's a standard banner 300 by 300 skyscraper these are all traditional well-defined ad sizes so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick on an ad that's the size that I want and I'm gonna choose leaderboard which is 728 times 90 and it's then gonna show me the templates that are specific to that particular size so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and find one that I like uh, and I actually like this one right here because it kind of like matches the color scheme of my blog, the red and black. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the use this button. It's then going to load my template into the ad builder or I can go ahead and edit my ad and complete it the way I want it. Okay, so since I'm going to be using this ad on my WordPress blog, the first thing that I need to do is change the standard dimensions. My WordPress blog has a content area that's only 650 pixels wide. Now this is a standard 728 pixel wide ad, so it's not going to fit inside of my WordPress content area very well. So the first thing I need to do is change its dimensions. 
And the way to do that is to click on the edit banner size button right up here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and it's going to allow me to enter the custom size that I want for this particular ad. Now the size that I want is 650 pixels wide. So I'm going to go ahead and enter 650 and I also want it to be a little bit higher. I'm actually going to put a video inside of this ad. So I want it to be a little bit bigger because I'm, I need to have room for the video. So I'm going to make it 200 pixels. And you can see it's then going to resize the ad so that way it's in the new dimensions that I want. Now obviously I've shrunk it and I've stretched it so the graphic looks a little weird but that's okay because I'm going to go ahead and delete that anyway. Alright so the easiest way to get started with a template is to go ahead and just delete all the things that you don't want. So first of all I don't want this text right here so I'm going to highlight it by clicking on it. I'm going to go over and click on the delete button. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want this red part altogether, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I don't want that text. I don't want that button. I don't want that. I don't want that. And I don't want this graphic. So there's not a whole lot that I actually want about this template, but it is a good way to get started quickly. Uh, now that I have the basic template that I want to have it all narrowed down to just the beginning of what I want, I can go ahead and add the things that I actually want in my final ad. However, before I do that, I do want to change this background color. I really don't like that background color, so I'm going to change it to something else. In order to do that, I'm going to click on the background color button, and it's going to show me a list of background colors that I get to have. Now, I really wish that this was just a color picker or something, so I can really pick a very detailed color and specifically the shade that I want. But for some reason, they didn't use a color picker. They have just these predefined colors, and I'm going to go ahead and pick on white. I'm going to make my background white. Okay, so now this is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and start adding the elements that I want. So the first thing that I want to put in is a video. I'm going to be making a video ad. And the video ad that I'm going to be making is going to be for a free WordPress plugin that I'm going to give away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this ad on other pages of my site in order to try to drive traffic over to the page that gives the free WordPress plugin away. And the reason I want people on that page is because they can get a free WordPress plugin in exchange for an opt-in. So in essence, the ad is going to be sending people to a squeeze page, which is another page on my site. Okay, so to add my video, I'm going to go ahead and click on the video link, and it's what looks like a play button right here. And incidentally, if you hover over all the icons, it will show you what that icon is for. So you know the zoom right here or the undo, uh, all these icons, they have this little hover feature so that way it'll show you a tool tip and explain exactly what each icon does. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the add video and it's going to ask me for one of two options. I can either enter a link to my YouTube or Vimeo video or I can actually upload a video myself. So if I have a video file, an MP4, as long as it's under 100 megs, I can go ahead and upload it myself and that way I don't actually have to put it on YouTube or Vimeo. I have no problems using YouTube, so I'm just gonna go over to YouTube and I'm gonna grab the video URL for one of my YouTube videos. And as you can see, I'm actually making an ad to send people over to the Jack Jacker opt-in. So that way they can opt in and get my Jack Jacker plugin for free. So let me go ahead and click on the URL. I'll get that and we'll take it back over to the Ad Hero software and I'm going to paste it in right here. I can set a video start time, you know, where I want this video to start and also when I want the video to end, but I don't really want to do that. I just want to let people watch the video. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the done button and it's then going to show me the video preview. And you can see that it doesn't actually show the video. It just shows this placeholder graphic. Um, I, I would have liked it to have you know a full video but it's really not the end of the world that it just shows a placeholder graphic so I don't really have a problem with that and one thing I want to point out about this software now at this point is that it's fully drag and drop so when I want to move something I just go ahead and move it if I want to resize it I just grab it from one of the corners here and resize it and I can do that in any of all four corners and even if I want to rotate it I can rotate it I can go ahead and rotate elements if I like. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense for a video to be skewed, but I'm just going to go ahead and make it straight again. 
But I did want to point out that it's a fully drag and drop functionality. And this uses HTML5, and that's why it's able to do some of these really cool things, such as rotate the images and rotate the videos. That type of functionality is only available in HTML5. So right now, it looks pretty good. The video, I want to make it bigger, though. And in order to make it bigger, I also have to make it longer. Uh, so I'm not going to have enough room here. So what I need to do is move all this over like that. There we go. Let me make this point right at the video and I'll move the black back over to there. Okay, so now I have my video and I have my content area. The next thing that I need to do, of course, is add my text. I want text to be on the right hand side explaining what the video is. So let me go ahead and click on the text button right here. It's going to allow me to enter some text. All right, so I have it say get Brett's premium Jack Jagger plugin 100% for free. I'm going to go ahead and move this over and you can see the text is black, but the background is black. So that's no good. So obviously I'm going to need to change the color of the text. I'm going to need to change it to something that's going to stand out in the black. So I'm going to make it white. Go ahead and click on the color button. I'm going to go ahead and make the text white. Click on OK. And now I can put it over my black background. The text is a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and resize it so that it fits inside of my content area really nicely. And now I have my video, I have my background, I have my text. This actually looks pretty good. Now there is one thing about the text that I haven't been able to figure out. And maybe it's because I skipped the tutorial videos. I'm going to ask Neil about this. But I haven't been able to figure out how to edit the font of the text. Right now it is in a serif font. I really would like to have a sans serif font, like maybe Arial or something. So I'd like to change the font of the text, but I just can't figure out how to do it. It has a lot of functionality. I can see there's a button here to make it bold. There's a button to make it italicized or underlined. I can edit its opacity if I want to. I can add a text shadow if I want to. But I just can't figure out how to change its font. And again, I'm not sure if this doesn't exist. If it does, I can't see it. I am going to ask Neil about it, and I will have an update to clarify if you can change the font or not. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I got a little video ad. I'm going to add a little bit of an animation to this text here. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the text, and then I'm going to click on Animate This Object. And it's going to allow me to enter a couple of different animations. And the reason I want to add animations is because people's eyes are naturally drawn to motion. It's just the way people's eyes work. People naturally see motion before they see anything else. So by adding even just a little bit of motion to my ad, it's going to make people's eyes automatically draw up to the ad which is what I want them to do I want them to see the ad and this is important because people see ads on websites all the time and because they see them so much they actually get what's called ad blindness and this means that they see the ad but it just doesn't register in their brain so by adding a little bit of emotion to it it's making them draw their attention to the ad and making them actually register the ad inside of their minds so there's a couple of different animations. I can do fly in from the left, fly in from the right, from the top, from the bottom. I can do fade in if I want, and I can do pop in. So I like pop in. I've always liked that particular animation. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click on OK. And now let me go ahead and preview my ad and see how it's looking right now. Okay, so everything looks like it's working. I have my ad that popped in to draw attention to the ad. I got my video on the left that people can then play and watch in order to see what I'm giving away and see what the ad is for. But honestly, now that I see it, I really don't like the white background. So I'm going to go ahead and change the background really quick. Uh, let's go back down here and click on the background link. And all I have to do is hover over so I can see which one it was again. All right, and I want this to be great. Let's give that a try. All right, now let's go ahead and preview this. And that looks a little bit better. I think that looks more professional, and I think it's going to be better for my blog. So now that I have my ad the way I want, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to publish the ad. Now, in order to publish the ad, I actually get an embed code that I can then put on my website or put on my blog. So all I have to do is go ahead and copy this embed code. You know what? I actually have this set for the fixed size, which means the ad will always be the same size. Well, why not put on the mobile responsive code? So let's go ahead and click on the mobile responsive link. And I'm going to go ahead and copy the mobile responsive code. 
and let's take it over to my blog we'll paste it in and see how it looks on my blog okay so here we are on my blog and I have a free training article that I want this to be on this training article gets a lot of organic traffic and what I want to be able to do is send the people that are coming to read this article eventually send them over to that squeeze page for Jack Jagger so that I can try to get them on my list so let's go ahead and put the ad on this training article and in order to do that I'm just gonna click on the link for the article I'm going to click on edit post and then I'm going to make sure that I'm in the text mode. WordPress actually has two modes. It has visual, so I can see what the article is going to look like, and it has text. The text is going to show me the actual HTML code for the article. So I'm going to make sure that I'm in text mode since I'm pasting in HTML code. I'm going to actually put the ad at the bottom of the article. I think it would be more appropriate and more effective if I have it at the bottom of the article. That way people get to read the article, and then after I've impressed them with the awesomeness of my article, then they can see my ad. So let me go ahead and put it right down here. I think that's going to work a lot better. Let's go ahead and update that. And you could ignore those errors. Those are just from my WordPress site. I have too many plugins that are conflicting with each other. Let me go ahead and view this post here. All right, so now it looks a lot better. It's going to be grab their attention a lot better. Now for this demo, I made a quick video ad, but I could have also made different kinds of ads. I could have made an ad that had a logo for the Jack Jacker plugin instead of a video. I could have made an ad that had a different template or that had a different size. I could have added different animations to the ad. One thing that I'll say about Ad Hero is that it has a lot of flexibility. It allows you to create good looking ads without being a graphic designer because it has the templates and it also allows the ads to be dynamic. The ads can have things like video, they can have sound that plays in the background, they can have little animated text. Things that are going to draw people's attention to the ad and make it more likely that people will click on the ad. Now, as I said, to be totally honest and totally upfront, the one downside to this is that it doesn't generate an ad that you can upload to Facebook or that you can upload to another website. It generates an ad that uses an embed code. So that way you actually have to have access to the site where you want to put your ad. Which makes Ad Hero very ideal for anybody that has their own website or their own blog or that wants to put ads on a client's website or a client's blog. Now there are a couple of other features that I want to show you about Ad Hero really quick just before I close up this review. The first thing is that it has a banner rotator. And what this is, is basically split testing. It will allow you to rotate your ads and show different ones with each page view. This way you can test out ads and then only focus on the ones that are performing the best. For example, in this demo, I made a video ad that had a little video about my Jack Jacker plugin. But maybe I wanted to make another ad that had the logo instead of a video. And maybe the logo would have a little animation to further draw people's attention to the ad. Well, I could go ahead and use the banner rotator and then test those two ads and see which one is going to perform better. And testing and seeing which is going to perform better is always better than just guessing and hoping that your ad is going to perform well. It also has analytics. Now, the analytics will show you the ad clicks, it will show you the ad visits, and it will show you the conversion rate. So you can see the one that I just made here, third test. It had two visits, and that was just from me showing you how it works. And I clicked on it one time. So it has a 50% conversion rate. And it's really cool that it has these types of things because that will allow you to see if your ad is actually working. You don't want to put an ad up and just hope that it works and hope that people are clicking on it. You want to be able to track and see that the ad is actually working and see if it's working well. If it is, then you can leave it up. If it's not, you create a new one. And you're able to do that because this has built-in analytics. Okay, so my final thoughts, what do I think of Ad Hero? Well, there are a couple of things that it can be improved on. You know, for example, like I said, when you're in the steps, I really wish you could like step back uh, when you're setting your background color. I really wish that it had a color picker instead of having those fixed color blocks that you can only pick from. So it does have things that it can be improved on, but honestly, there's no software in the world that can't be improved on. 
Overall, I think Ad Hero is a really cool concept. I think having these kinds of dynamic ads are going to convert a lot better than just having a static graphic, just because people see those static graphic ads so often that, as I said, they become blind to them. They see them, but it doesn't register in the brain. But having a little bit of an animation or a video is going to force people's attention to that ad because people's eyes are naturally drawn to motion. While I made a very simple video ad just for a demonstration, Ad Hero has a lot of other functionality that I didn't show. You can make all kinds of ads. You can use logos, graphics, banners. You can do all kinds of things with Ad Hero, and you can get really creative with your ad if you want to. Or you can make a simple ad just like I did very quickly. Finally, just one more time, as I've said a couple of times in this review, Ad Hero is designed for people that have their own websites or their own blogs. Or if you have clients that have their own websites and their own blogs, you can use it on there as well. Ad Hero is not ideal for creating ads for sites where you would upload a graphic such as Facebook because Ad Hero does not actually create a graphic. It creates HTML5 ads that must be embedded inside of the website that you're putting the ad on. But overall, I think Ad Hero is a really good investment. I think that it's a nice concept, that it has these animated and dynamic ads. I think that it's going to get you more clicks, and I think it's going to be easy to get a return on your investment because Ad Hero is priced incredibly reasonably. Alrighty, guys, thank you and enjoy.